to the island of Isabella. Welcome to the story of three sailors taking the long way home to Australia on a 38 foot boat called Finding Avalon. Last week you joined us in the cute animal fest that was San Cristobal in the Galapagos Islands. We lapped up all the nature of the islands and my best friend and former lab partner Freya came to join in on the fun. This has been on our list forever. Xanthi has made the most epic birthday brekkie ever. We have got chocolate pancakes with Nutella, coconut, scrambled mm. egg. Then we've got some strawberries, peaches, and then birthday cake crumbled in as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I gotta like say, it is delicious. We're going to be bouncing off the walls for yeah. our sale later. 28, hey? Yeah, 28 pancakes. <laughs> Have you got a speech for your 28th birthday? Oh, there there it goes. That's speech. No speech. Yeah. Yeah. So, last year on my birthday, Xanthi and I decided to buy a boat. <laughs> this year on my birthday, we managed to get that boat to the Galapagos Islands. So yeah, what can I say? It's been a pretty good year. Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel on my 29th. I don't know how it's going to live up <laughs> to my 28th. Buy a bigger boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, so it's actually the anniversary of finding Avalon, incidentally. Mm. It's a big day for everyone. That's why we're having a party for Avalon. Um, some surf break and a new place for us to explore. I'm really sorry about the mess of the house. It's been a hectic day. Okay. Yeah, so we'll be sailing downwind. Um, at the moment, got a very nice tail current. We are doing six and a half knots in about two and a half knots of current. So that's making life good. Uh, at the moment it's got us arriving at 5 a.m. So I'll just slow down. Alexa, what are, you, what are we going to get out as soon as we're out of the anchorage? We're just going to get some fishing lures out and the lures. Catch some food, hopefully. I'm feeling very lucky. There's a lot of life around here. You should have just right. seen the tuners oh, yeah. being delivered over there. Really? All the tuners were like, I think it would have unloaded maybe 20, 25 tuners that were like this That size. Big. We better hope if we do catch, we hope if we do catch a tuna that we catch it on my rod because my rod's got maximum drag. <laughs> and um, it's the only one with the line and the drag strong enough to be able to pull in a yeah. tuna of that size. <laughs> we were in the fishing shop um, just getting a few lures and things that will be hard to get in the South Pacific. And then Alexa started stroking the fishing rods and me and Jackson were like, I think we're on here. Alexa, Alexa needs a rod. Let's lure her in. Lure her in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's lure her into getting a reel with maximum drag so we can get pelagic beasts. And um, yeah, she swallowed the hook. <laughs> Got um, our weapons of choice are um, Daddy Freya, 
This is the one that um, caught the mahi and it also caught the tuna, which yeah. is why it's like mangled. Yeah. That's our lucky lure. And then Jackson got a few squids for his birthday and sparkle. We got disco squid. Disco squid. Disco squiddy. We had an 18 nautical mile overnight passage from San Cristobal to Isabella ahead of us, with not a stick of wind. Feeling a slight puff of breeze, the captain was resolutely hoping for a birthday sail. Sadly, it wasn't going to happen for him today. Concha de Perla, one of the only places you can visit absolutely free of charge and without a tour guide on Isabella. It's a small section of mangroves closed off from the open ocean by a large rock wall. A natural swimming pool, if you will. Where have you been? <laughs> Just been over in the special corner. We've seen um, about four little sharks. And there's one up there as well. Oh, let's go. Mangroves offer the ideal environment for juvenile aquatic species to grow and develop. Their branches offer physical protection from predators and the waters are rich in nutrients. That doesn't mean that said predators don't attempt to capitalise on the abundance of prey in these waters. In fact, larger marine species are attracted to the mangroves for the precise reason that they may score an easy feed.
Gladiator level 7 obstacle course. And you're not allowed to touch the fierce seal. Go on, Freya. Alexa wanted to froth a bit harder than what you can on the saddle of a bicycle, so headed off for a surf, whilst us three went for a mosey up the coast. Alright, we've reached our sixth obstacle of the day. Don't quite know how we're going to navigate this one, but um, yeah, there he is. So here we have the Galapagos tortoise in his natural environment, feeding on the fruits from the mountaineer tree. The Galapagos tortoise has a much longer neck than the common tortoise, just so that he can reach up for the fruits of the mountaineer tree. The Wall of Tears has no function other than a means of punishment for the Ecuadorian penal colonies in the 1940s until the end of the 50s. The wall reaches up to 65 feet and runs over 300 feet long, and its construction was dangerous work in the ill-equipped conditions, resulting in the deaths of a number of prisoners from both sickness and calamity. The penal colonies on the island are long gone, but the wall remains as a relic of these times in the island's history. Visiting the wall is less about seeing the wall itself than admiring the incredible view of the island, most of which is forbidden for tourists to step foot onto, so it's a real treat to get a vantage point over these lands. We were cream crackered after our bike ride, so went to have a well-deserved relax on the local beach where we had left Alexa surfing. Not bad, not bad at all. We later discovered that the beach really comes alive after the sun goes down. <laughs>
thanks so much for joining us this week guys if you loved it please smash the thumbs up button subscribe and type some sweet nothings into the comments section if you haven't yet had enough of the galapagos join us next week as we explore another island in the archipelago this episode is sponsored by our patrons who we would like to send out a huge thanks to for making it happen